Okay, we're given below the numbers of indoor movie theaters listed in order by row for each year. So use the given data to construct a time series graph. What is the trend and how does this trend compare to the trend for drive-in movie theaters? So this is the drive-in theater over here. I'm going to let you do that part. I'm going to show you the technical aspects of how to create a plot. So we're going to click on our data here. And it says number of indoor theaters and the year. Uh, I wish they actually had the year there, but they do not. So that's okay. I'm going to go and open in StatCrunch. Okay, so here it pulls it over really nicely. I'm going to go to graphs. And there are actually two ways to do this. I'll show you both ways. You can go to graphs and chart and columns and we're going to graph the number of indoor theaters don't select both of these because we're going to choose our labels in year okay now what kind of plot do we want we just want maybe connected lines or you could do the points with connected lines I sometimes like to see those points and you can choose putting labels on for this purpose we don't really need to like if you're going to create a something to print out a report for class you could you can kind of spruce this up. We'll go ahead and click Compute, and there we go. And let me minimize that. So it looks like it's going to be B. All right, if I look at that side by side. Okay, it's the only one that has that sort of shape. Let me show you another way to do this. I'm not sure if it's any easier or not, but StatCrunch actually has a time plot option here. Okay, index time plot. So again, I'm going to select number of indoor theaters. And for my option, I, I can just do increment of one because that's, that's all they did, right? But suppose I actually had the years in there. I'm going to do customs, custom, and select the year. And you can put label spacing and things like that. So you have a few more things you can adjust here. The line size, if I want to make the line maybe a little thicker at two, you can do that. We'll click Compute. You can put horizontal vertical lines on this if you need to. And there we go. Notice it's exactly the same shape here. I could have put dots on that, I think. Or I could have removed these dots, but it's the same shape. Okay, so two different ways to do the time series plot. Hope that helps.